Hello. Today I'm going to show you what hinders some of our prayers. Please subscribe, like, and follow me. Dear, today is church activity. Let's go to church. You can go and not go. Let's go together, dear. I said get out of my sight now. Nonsense. Hey, before you go make sure you prepare my food. I have already done that. Now get out. Thank you Jesus for all you are doing in the life of my husband. Please touch his life to know you more. Praise the Lord. Today is prayer meeting. I want us to commit our family into God's hand. Shall we pray? Amen. Bible said as our faces are different so as our problems are. So, let pray and ask God to solve our problems for us. One by one, shall we pray? Hello, girlfriend come to the house. My wife has gone to church. Okay, I'm coming. Let me dress up. Yes, I'm coming. Wow, girlfriend, you look takeaway. Thank you. Come here. Let me take you out. Where is your wife? That one. She is in the church. Praying what I don't know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm serious. I don't know what she went there to do. Give me a child. She will not. Stupid woman. Baby, you like this play. Love it. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, dear. See, baby. Be pregnant for me. I will pursue that barren witch and marry you. I'm so happy. Dear, good evening, sir. Why are you coming home by this time? We just close. Stupid woman, you just close my foot. Go and prepare my food. Okay, sir. Nonsense. Oh God, I thank you today for all you are doing in my life. Be thou glorified. Hey, woman, I'm going out prepare my food before I come back. Okay, sir. Nonsense. Useless, woman. Give me a child. She will not. Yes, come in. Wow, boyfriend, come and sit down. Happy to see me. Yes, come here. How are you today? I'm fine. What do you say of what I told you the other day? What did you told me? About you marrying me. Oh, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. But your wife is there. Send her away, first. Don't worry, I heard you. Let me be going. Okay, dear. Bye. Bye. Where are you coming from? I went to church. Which church? Our church. Where do you say you are coming back from? I'm coming back from church. Leave my house now, you prostitute. Get out now, you are useless. Human being, lack of patience. It remained just one year, for their own good. Now he has destroyed, all the plans of God, for their life. I said leave my house, you barren woman. Get out of my house, witch. What did I do? Nonsense. Hello, baby, pack your things and come. I have to pursue that barren woman. Okay, right away.
Dear, see how you are shining. What is going on? Where is this woman? I married her to give me a child. Child, I did not see, yet she doesn't care. I cook myself, am just like a person that doesn't have a wife. Oh God, what did I do to myself? Why did I pursue my real wife? At least she was a good wife. A woman with fear of God, she never left me hungry even for one day. She doesn't leave this house except for church, but this one is a flirter. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Where are you coming from? What kind of question is that? What did you say? What did you say? Are you mad? What is time? Don't you dare slap me again. You thought I'm your first wife that you treat anyhow. You slap me back. Are you mad? You are the one mad. Don't dare me. Oh God, my heart, my heart. Hello. If you are looking up to God, don't be faster than your God. He has a plan for you. His plan is for you to live not to die. He knows the perfect time to give you what you want. He know the time that will not hurt you. And remember, what God joined together nothing should put asunder. He is not a man that promise. He is God that cannot change or disappoint. God love couples that stand together in difficult times. A man should not abandon his wife no matter what. He should show his wife more love when they are in need. That is the only thing that move God. Because Bible say that it cannot work except both agree. Man and woman should put their head together. Man should not abandon a woman to carry the problem alone. It doesn't show you are a man and cannot move God. Please stand by your wife no matter what. Pray together, and see that, God answers prayers. Instead of fighting your wife, why not say good morning Jesus, thank you Jesus for giving me a new day, and you will see that God answers prayer and your life will change. God love couples that pray together. Don't be a hindrance to your wife's or your husband prayers, don't persecute your wife because, she is not God. Even if you succeeded in what you want, remember is not from God and will hurt you now or later and you will still go to hell, because God said that I hate divorce, and divorce is sin against God. Thank you for watching. And please, subscribe, like, and follow me. God bless you.